Hey guys, here at Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to do a couple benchmark tests between my new phone, HTC One, versus my LG Nexus 4. Um, keep in mind, both phones have a quad core Snapdragon um, CPU. Of course, this one, the Nexus 4, has the S4 um, 1.5 gigahertz, and this one has the new Snapdragon 600 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, both phones are have the same GPU, which is the Adreno 320, both of them. Uh, both phones have 4.7 screen, this one and this one, 4.7 screen. Uh, but this one, the HTC One, is pushing a 1080p screen, and this one, the Nexus 4, is pushing a 720p screen. So, let's go ahead and start the test over here. Uh, before I start the test, I'm going to go ahead and, and and clean up the task manager and cache with ES Task Manager. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to be doing this uh, before every test, so it could be a little bit fair. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go back. And to start, let's go ahead and start with uh, the quadrant. Let's hit go. Like you saw right there, this one is speeding up very, very fast, very fluid. Like you see over here, the frames per second, they stay over 60 on that test. And over here as well. Well, over here is key changes from 60 to 40 something. Okay, let's go ahead and see the score over here. And this one over here in the quadrant scored 8982. 8, okay, let's go ahead and see this over here. And my device over here scored 4834. 4834. Like you see right there, um, it, it almost doubles the speed of this test over here. Okay, that's cool. So let's go ahead and start another test. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the N22 bench. Okay, so like you see right here, you can still see the score of the last time I did the score. This one over 13,000 and this one over 22,000. But let's go ahead and test again. Let's go ahead and hit both of them. And let's go ahead and hit start, start. Uh, just keep in mind this, uh, these tests, most of all uh, these tests, they don't translate to real life usage. So, but this is just to have, you know, like a reference benchmark um, between devices. Okay, look at that. <laughs> It's pretty speedy over here. Like you see over here, the the uh, the little Android guys, they were very very tiny. And that's because of the 1080p screen over here. The pixel per inch are uh, has has a bunch over 460 something, if I'm not mistaken. And this one, of course, uh, like you see over here, everything is gonna look bigger. And I gotta say, man, I've been liking this phone so um, so far. Uh, but of course, there's a couple things of sense that I don't really like, and it's is 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 getting hard to get used to. Uh, but thanks God for Apex Launcher, it, uh, makes everything feels great back again. 
and that's what I've been using on this the HTC one I've been using the Apex launcher that's why you saw right there in the home screen that it looked a little bit different especially the dock I'm having a very very hard time with um, getting used to the dock of the HTC one because it can't be customized you know I don't get it that is very very weird okay so here it is uh, like you see right here it scored less than I did before uh, it has over 19,709 okay let's see over here this should be about to finish okay look at this uh, 14,988 and 19709 not bad this one is not a slouch that's not bad of a score for either one look at that not bad so now let's go ahead and do another test okay so in this one I'm gonna go ahead and do the 3d mark and 3d mark over here as well but um, this time I'm gonna do the run extreme test on both of them I already did a run uh, um, the normal test on my unboxing video but this time I'm gonna uh, push the phones to the limit on each one of them so I'm gonna go ahead and run the the extreme on both of them but I'm gonna sh do one at a time because the sound is incredible on this one and I want you guys to see here the difference between sounds of this one and this one so let's go ahead verse this one first volume is completely up Like you can see it's jittering a little bit the graphics because of course this is this test is pushing the phone to the limit. Um, I believe this test is, 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 is simulating like a 1080p so it will cause jitters on, on the Nexus 4. And keep in mind the audio is completely up. Okay, so now it's gonna do a couple tests which is has no audio so I'm gonna be skipping to the results okay so here comes the results and there it is it scored 5085 the extreme ice storm test okay so now let's go ahead with the HTC one Push this one over here. Uh, volume is is up as well. Let's see.
Now right away you can notice the difference of the speakers. Okay, that was impressively sound. So now, of course, these are going to be no audio. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the results. Okay, so here is the scores. There it is. 5,715. 5715. And 5085. Like you see right there. Uh, not that much of a difference, but just keep in mind this is the extreme test and they always score very low and That's a pretty good score uh, You can see over here you can see them compared with other phones And here as well, so not bad like you saw right there obviously the sound on this phone Demolishes the sound of the Nexus 4 so let's go ahead for um, the next test Okay, so now let's go ahead and do a speed test over here with my Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and see how good is the Wi-Fi reception on every and both of them. Let's make sure both phones are using the same server. So like the server over here, I'm going to go choose El Paso on both of them. And let's go back and let's go back here. Let's go ahead and begin the test over here. I'm not doing both tests uh, at the same time. That way, only one test is using the the whole bandwidth of my Wi-Fi. If you do both at the same time, they'll be sharing, so you don't want to see that. Okay, so there it is, over 7.20 megabits per second and 673 megabits per second. This is awesome, very awesome upload speeds. So let's go ahead here. On the HTC One, okay, ninety-five. Oh, it, identical ping, identical right there, ninety-five. Okay, look at that. Nice, uh, ten ninety-seven, ten point ninety-seven megabits per second, and six thirteen megabits per second upload. Uh, pretty much the same when it comes to upload. Uh, download is a little bit different there, over three mega, almost four megabits per second difference, and ping was basically the same. Awesome, <laughs> not bad. So let's go ahead with the next test. Okay, so in this test, I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, Peace Keeper benchmark test. 
uh, to see how the uh, browser works over here and like, keep in mind I don't have nothing in the background and I already cleared uh, cache on both phones already so let's go ahead here hit it over here as well and let's go ahead and click go and go on both of them Uh, this what it does it tests the speed of the browser and of uh, um, HTML5 on both browser and performance and all that that has to do just with the browsing experience on both phones Like you can see that both uh, browsers are going pretty much at the same speed. Okay, so here it is. Uh, on the HTC One, it scored 475. And on the Nexus 4, it actually scored a lot more. It scored 528. Like you see right there, I would say that's a pretty decent um, advantage for the Nexus 4 um, but like I said these are not like the these tests they don't translate to real life performance but it's great to do these tests that way you guys can have an idea of both devices um, pretty much good test between both devices um, this uh, the HTC one basically beat um, on uh, the Nexus 4 on um, almost every single test we did here except for the browser the browsing over here came a lot faster uh, a couple factors could be it could be because this is a 720 and this is pushing force um, 1080p you know it could be it could be so many things so uh, but that's it guys I hope you guys liked the video and of course this is just to you know if you're on the fence and you have one on the Nexus 4 or any other Android phone older than the HTC One and are thinking about going for the HTC One, that way you can have a, a reference video on how would the difference would it be between performances. So guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time guys.